what in this video we will discuss the introduction to counting techniques. Our objectives, we will review the concepts of set. So this was uh, discussed during your grade 7 uh, level. And then after that, we will illustrate the concept of the number of a set. So um, let's start. So let us define cardinality. I know some of you are familiar with the word cardinality. So when we say cardinality, it refers to the number of elements in a given set. So uh, this uh, definition is ref uh, used when we are discussing about sets. Okay? So itong cardinality na to ay concept ng sets. Okay? So pag sinabi natin cardinality, it is referring to the number of elements. How many elements are given in a set? Okay? So parang ilan ng elements na meron sa isang set? That is referring to cardinality. Okay? That's why um, we call it cardinality of set A. So uh, we let us make sure that uh, when we are giving a set, when we have a set, we always name it using a capital letter. Okay? So that's why... Um, I have here cardinality of set A. Ibig sabihin yung name ng set mo is A. So, if we're going to write this in symbol, we will write small letter N. So, this is uh, the symbol for cardinality or when we are getting the number of elements in a set. So, small letter N and then uh, the name of this set should be enclosed by the parenthesis. Okay? So, again... Uh, the cardinality refers to the number of elements. When we, we are counting the number of elements in a given set, that is referring to the cardinality. Where we are using small letter n to, to name or to give the number of elements and then enclose the name of a set using parentheses. Let's see, have an example. So I have here set A is the set of primary colors. So, di ba meron tayong primary colors? Yellow, red, blue. So, if we will be counting the number of elements, 1, 2, 3. So, therefore, we will be writing this in symbols, small letter N, your A, which is the name of the set. Okay, Ke be careful in writing the name of the set. Uh, it must be capital letter. And then, since we have here set of primary colors, I have yellow, red, blue, and we have 3, 1, 2, 3. So, therefore, the cardinality is 3. Again, ha, huh? cardinality refers to the number. Okay? Another example. I have here set B. So, school days in a week. So, ano-ano ba yung mga araw na may pasok tayo? So, of course, we have Monday to Fridays. Okay? So, that is small letter N. Tapos, yung name ng ating set, which is capital B. Okay? Is equal to 5. So, again, cardinality refers to the number. So, you'll, you will be counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many uh, elements are in the set? Now, in um, introduction to counting techniques, when we say, um, when we say uh, cardinality, it also, actually, pareho lang yung concept niya. Eh, na pag sinabi natin accounting uh, yung concept or introduction natin sa counting techniques dito sa grade 10, uh, cardinality, uh, ginagamit natin yung concept ng cardinality, which is referring to the number of elements. Pero dito, ang basa natin sa cardinality is the number of set A. Okay? Since we are getting the number, here in this, um, uh, in the introduction of two counting techniques, ang basa na natin dyan is the number of set A. So, number, ibig sabihin, we will be counting the number of elements. Okay. okay, now what if there is no elements given in a set? So, halimbawa, um, hinihingi yung number ng elements and then uh, what will be its cardinality? Kapag walang elements na tayong maibigay, let's say set of days in a week starts with A. So, halimbawa ito, set of days in a week starts with A. So, meron bang araw or days in a week na nagsisimula sa letter A? Wala, ba? I know some of you will answer empty set. Okay? Or null set. But, this is wrong. Okay, why? 
Kasi sabi ko nga, when we say cardinality, we are getting the number of elements. Okay? So, kinukuha natin yung bilang ng elements. Ilang elements meron tayo sa set. So, kapag wala, do not write empty set or null set. Okay? Since we are referring to number, tatandaan na kapag sinabi natin cardinality, we are getting the number of elements. So, dapat there must be a number. Okay? So, your answer is supposed to be N, okay, cardinality of set A is equal to 0. So, ito po dapat. Okay? Bakit? Kasi we are getting or cardinality is referring to the number. So, there must be a number. Okay? So, dapat pag walang elements or walang, wala kang mabibilang, there is no elements given in set, Dapat ang isagot po natin is zero. Not empty set, not null set. Let's have an example. So, find the number of each set. So, I have here set A, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, you will just count the number of A. Okay? The number of A. So, pag sinabing the number of A, ilan yung elements ni A? So, that is, Okay, cardinality of set A is equal to 4. Or the number of A is equal to 4. Next, uh, set B, I have letters in the English alphabet. So again, do not forget to write the symbol, small letter N, and then the name of the set in close by parentheses. And then, of course, that is 26. Right, next, even prime number. So set C is the set of even prime number. So, ano ba yung set of even prime number natin? We only have two. Right? So, therefore, the answer is one. Kasi, uh, may ang mga prime numbers natin are two, three, five, seven. Pero, alin doon yung even, even? Okay? We only have two. So, that is one. Isa lang. Next, the set of all x such that x is a counting number less than eight. So, when we say counting number again, uh, we should start with 1. Okay? So, kapag counting number, nagsisimula tayo sa 1. Okay? So, therefore, what are those counting numbers less than 8? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, hanggang 7 lang tayo. Kasi ang sabi dito, less than. Mas mababa sa 8. So, therefore, kung bibilangin natin siya, how many, uh, what is the number of set D? We have 7. Next. Add counting number less than 12. So, ito naman, counting number less than 12, but ang hinihingi niya is add number. So, sige, lista natin. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So, 12 is not included kasi this is even. At the same time, ang sabi po kasi dito ay less than. Okay? So, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. So, as you can see, all of the given uh, elements are add numbers. Okay? So, uh, what is the number of set E? Okay? So, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have 6. Next. I have prime number less than 30. So, you're going to list all the prime numbers less than 30. So, ito, ito po yun. Okay? So, bibilangin natin. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, we have 10. Next, I have set uh, x is the set of all x is a whole number less than 10. Okay, now I have here whole number. Whole number is different from counting number. So, kapag counting number, it starts with 1. But when we say whole number, it starts with 0. Okay, so st uh, starting from 0, Ililista mo lahat ng mga, um, ng mga number or whole number less than 10. So, starts with 0. So, 0 to 9. So, until 9 lang po kasi less than 10 tayo. Ibig sabihin, mas mababa sa 10. So, therefore, 10 should not be included. Okay? So, bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have 10. The number of set G is 10. Next. I have even number between 3 and 20. So, even, 
between 3 and 20. So, ilagay natin. So, 2 is not part of it. Kasi, although 2 is an even number, but, pero ang sabi kasi dito, between, nasa pagitan ni 3 at 20, nasa gitna nila. So, papasok dyan si 4, 6, 8, hanggang 18. Okay? So, 20 is not included kasi between, nasa pagitan. So, let us count. What is the number of set each? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we have 8. Next, the set of all x such that x is a whole number between 8 and 15. So, again, we have here whole number. So, we should start with 0. But, okay, so, ang sabi whole number, so, iisipin mo ay 0. Yes. Kaya lang, there is a restriction. It must be between 8 and 15. Nasa gitna ni 8 at 15. So, therefore, we will start with 9 up to 14. Kasi nasa pagitan. Okay, bakit si 0 hindi kasama? Eh, whole number yun. Yes, whole number siya. Kaya lang, nagbigay siya ng restriction na dapat between 8 to 15 lang po. Okay? So, let us count. 2, 4, so we have 6. Next. Okay. So, is the set of all x such that x is a multiple of 3 and a factor of 30? So, anong ibig sabihin nito? So, what are those numbers? Okay? Na multiple of 3 at the same time, factor ni 30. Okay? So, we have 3, 6, 15, 30. Why? These are all fa multiples of 3. Okay? At the same time, factor siya ni 30. Okay? So, kapag ganito ang given natin, dapat uh, mag-true siya pareho. Okay? I mean, uh, dapat multiple siya ni 3 at the same time, factor siya ni 30. Hindi pwedeng ito lang kasi ang given natin is... Uh, must be a multiple of 3 and a factor of 30. So, we have 3, 6, 15, 30. So, therefore, we have 4. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.